It's now become abundantly clear that Kathy Wood has subscribed to The Electric Viking. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Fantastic to have you here. Awesome to see so many new subscribers come on board over the last week or two. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you check out the 650 plus videos we've created over the last six months. There's lots of information there about new electric car companies, about old electric car companies, about the global automotive industry and what's really happening between now and 2030. So, Kathy Wood, has she really subscribed to the Electric Viking? I have no idea, but hopefully she has. Now, the reason I say this, I joke about this, is because I mentioned quite a while ago, a few months ago, that I bought stock of Xpeng and and now Kathy Wood has opened a position in Xpeng buying 13.4 million US dollars of the stock. Now, remarkably, Xpeng Motors stock has fallen sharply over the past two days. And thus, it has come across well-known bargain hunter's hands, Kathy Wood. Now, this to me is just inexplicable. Xpeng sales have gone from 10,000 last month to 15,000 this month. So I had assumed that the stock price would just keep on going up and up and up as it has this year. But for some reason, it went down. So I did the same as Kathy. I didn't actually know she'd done this, taken a position, and I bought more as well. Not a whole lot because I'm not the wealthiest person in the planet. I'm not a Kathy Wood style investor. I don't have 13.4 million US dollars sitting around. But boy, if I did, I probably would have done the same with that as well. Now, ARK Invest, which Wood manages, bought 277,263 Xpeng ADRs worth about 13.4 million US dollars through its ARK Autonomous Tech and Robotics ETF or exchange traded fund called ARK Q on Thursday, according to its latest position data. These shares make up 0.56% of ARK Q's holdings, the data shows. Now, also of note is that ARK Invest have quite a big position in BYD with 25.5 million US dollars invested under this exchange traded fund as well. Now, while these positions, they're not a huge amount of money or the kind of money that would manages, they may contribute to the investors community's improving sentiment toward Xpeng and even more broadly for Chinese electric vehicle stocks traded in the United States, given the large number of investors that actually follow her. And I, I think realistically, a lot of the reason that we see these insane prices for companies like Lucid and Rivian is simply because of public awareness. So I think there's a good chance here. I'm not, by the way, a financial analyst, but I do think there's a good chance that once people start talking about the fact that Ark and Kathy Wood have invested in BYD and Xpeng, that more retail investors will jump into the stock. Now, Xpeng released figures on Wednesday showing it delivered a record 15,600 electric vehicles in November, hitting the company's previously mentioned target of 15,000. Now that to me is a huge milestone considering this is just a startup. They haven't been around for long and they're really kicking some serious goals. But that didn't inspire optimism among investors as the stock plunged 7% on Wednesday and fell another 5.6% on Thursday, giving back the gains of the past week. So good opportunity to buy right now, I think. If you're in the market, have a look at Xpeng. Now, surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, depending on who you are, ARK Invest sold 80,720 shares of Tesla on Thursday, worth 87.5 million US dollars, and they still hold about 2.3 million shares. Now, as a percentage of ARK Invest position, the BYD stock is about 1.1%, and it's worth about 25.5 million US dollars. Now, I've been well, kind of pleading with people to purchase BYD stock, not to try and help BYD, but to try and help them. And I think BYD will be one of the three largest automakers in the world by 2030. Let's be honest, if you just have a look at what they've done this year, you have to say they're on a very firm trajectory towards achieving that goal. Increasing sales of electric cars every month by 10,000 every month for six straight months, that is just spectacular. And the fact that they make their own batteries, that they make their own parts, they're the most vertically integrated manufacturer in the world. And they plan to make 3.5 million EVs per year in 2025 and have a solid real roadmap to get there gives me a lot of confidence. I have very similar confidence in Xpeng, especially after seeing the P5. I made a video about the P5. I'll put that in the description below. That video was featured on Clean Technica. Thanks guys for putting that on your website. I appreciate the support. So here are two companies that I highly recommend people invest in. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor, although I don't see how that would make me any more qualified to help you with your stock investing. But anyway, BYD and Xpeng, make sure you check out some of my videos. I'll put them in the description below. And you can learn more about those two companies by watching and learning and then make a decision for yourself. 
Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.